today is Friday, the 23rd of April. As you can hear, there's a bird that really wants to be in this video. Seriously. Um, I am sitting outside my house. Man, that is a really loud bird. I'm sitting outside uh, the back in the backyard. These are some of my mother's flowers. I thought they would be pretty. Um, let's see. This vlog is not all going to be about the baby, but I'm going to start off with the baby. I had a checkup yesterday, and uh, everything is going a-okay with the baby. Heartbeat was at 140. I am six months pregnant. Uh, now, typically they do, they do um, okay, see, how, how, let's see. I had something funny. I had, there's something funny about my pregnancy. They don't know how far along I am. I have two due dates. Two! Because according to, and this is a little TMI for some of you, but whatever, they calculate the due date based on when your last period was. Um, based on that, I'm due July 26th. Uh, based on the size of the wee one, the little baby, uh, when they did the ultrasound about, oh, six weeks ago now, I guess, um, the baby is due July 19th. So, I have two due dates, a week apart. I don't know what's going to happen there. So, I'm either 26 or 27 weeks pregnant, depending on apparently the mood the doctor is in. Um, hello, Willie. You guys want to see Willie? I might get you to come up here and say hello. This is Willie. Hi. He is 21 years old. And as you can see, he only has one eye. And he lost a bit of his tail recently. And uh, he just got into, almost got into a tussle with uh, another big fat orange cat. But I stopped him. Fierce. Um, okay, so I'm going to stand up here and hopefully show you my belly. I don't actually know if this is going to work on the, the way the angle is, but if not, I'll do it another way. You can't get back on my lap. Because I want to show you guys that I have, I don't have, I don't just have one belly. I don't just have one due date. I have two, I have two bellies. Okay? One, two. One, two. Two. Man, you are shitty, kitty. Oh, man, my pants are getting all wet. He's going to lay down right in front of me and groom himself in the sun on the red table and listen to me talk. So, yeah, I don't like that. I mean, I, I keep forgetting. They, the doctors haven't noticed it probably because I tend to wear things that cover that, like that jut out and, you know, you miss the whole fact that there's a missing, like I have a missing piece. I don't know. But I go back in two weeks because I'm now at the stage where you go to the doctor every two weeks instead of every month. So, yeah, that's exciting. Um, the other test I had done yesterday was the risk for gestational diabetes, which is a pretest, basically. And I passed it. Woohoo! They um, give you about five ounces of some sugary liquid. It tasted like flat uh, pregnancy brain fruit punch, and I drank that, and then an hour later, they pricked me in the finger, this one, and um, took my blood sugar, and it was 90, and it had to be with less than 135, so, ooh, I have power over sugar. Uh, let's see, oh, Dad's home. <laughs> uh, so that's what's going on with the baby. I don't know how far along I am. I don't know when I'm due, uh, <laughs> but I do. Sometime in that week, I guess. That's just strange to me. Yeah. And I think I'm in the third trimester. I mean, I either am or I'm not. I don't know. I'll be in the next... Uh, it's just... I don't know. I don't have dates. You would think that would wig me out. I mean, it does kind of a little bit stress me out. Oh, hello. Um, stress me out a little bit because I, you know, can't plan for stuff very well. Uh, yeah. And my nails are growing really long. You probably can't see these at all, but... All but this one. No, and I'm not kidding. I mean, I ripped that one, but all the rest of them are nice and long, and they're polished, and they're hard, and it's getting hot out here now. So, yeah. Uh, I'm liking... Okay, we're going to talk about... Stop talking about the baby. The baby moves all the time, like every day. This is the last thing about the baby, I swear. Uh, the baby moves all the time, and sometimes it's like, whoa, what are you doing in there? Pirouettes. I mean, are you breakdancing? Are you a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? I don't know. And then other times I'm like, oh, hello, baby. Like when I, I'll be talking about the baby 
him, her, we don't know. And see, that's something we don't want to know on purpose, but I'm done with baby talk, yes. So, it's very cool to have a baby moving. It's just... That is the neatest thing ever. There's a little person in there, moving, doing its own thing. I don't have any control over it. It's just, well. Okay, last thing about the baby. Lost. Okay, I'm loving it. I think the man in black has lost his ever-loving mind. And after all the years stuck on the island, he's losing it. And I'm loving it. I think there's like four episodes left. Oops, pocket's ringing. Uh, there's only like four episodes left. And that's just, oh yeah, I'm getting lots of Twitter messages or Facebook messages. Text messages. I think that means it. Hi, Dad. I'm filming a vlog. Uh, I'm filming a vlog. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, working with his dad. So, that was my dad. You guys may have seen him in another video that I've done. Um, so, Lost, I'm loving it. Uh, sad to see it go, but I'm like excited to see how they wrap this all up. It's been very interesting this last season. Um, let's see. American Idol, yes, I watch. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to make my prediction now. My top three are Casey, uh, Siobhan, and Crystal. Top three. Casey, Siobhan, and Crystal. And I'm not saying Casey just because he's cute and his name is Casey, which is the same name as my cat in the city I'm from, but he's actually really good. I'm actually, you know, the singing, when they actually sing, it's really not that bad, but it's all the stuff that goes with it. It's so corporate. It's so bullshit. I hate it, and I love it. It's like a love-hate relationship with AI. Yeah. And I'm actually going to kind of miss Simon. I like Simon. Here's my ring. So, okay. Lost. AI. Books, I've been reading books, probably not the books I should be reading. I should probably be reading those books that, like, tell me how to parent and what to expect, you know, when the kid's born, but I think I'll be fine. Right? I'll be fine. Right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, having, okay, not talking about the baby. I'm trying to, like, not make this entire vlog about the baby, but I don't really have much else going on in my life. Uh, work is kind of work, you know. I can't really talk about it too much. I don't love it, don't hate it. Um, some days, you know, I lost a bunch of hours last week, but then made them most up working extra stuff, and, you know, I don't know. Stuff's going to change at work, apparently, but I don't know what that is yet. I'm having a meeting on Monday to find out, and, uh, planning a baby shower, but that's about that. Actually, that's more about me, I think. Yes, why I am wearing a bright kite t-shirt, a t-shirt for a service I no longer use. Why do you ask? <gasps> Doctor Who! Duh! I knew there was something else that I was watching that I was totally forgetting about. Doctor Who! I actually am enjoying the Tenth Doctor. You know, he's he's not David Tennant, but who is besides David Tennant? Um, but he's good. I enjoy him. I think I'm going to like this Doctor. I think I'm going to like this companion. Uh, I really, um, I'm interested to see where they go with the Doctor Swan, or Song. I think it's Song. Uh, the character who was in the library in season four last with Donna. And um, I just watched that episode this week, and I like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm wondering when Torchwood's going to come back. I, I heart Torch Torchwood. Um, love me some Captain Jack. And, yeah, I, I yeah. So, okay, I'm going to end this vlog now because this has probably been, I don't know, ten minutes? I, I don't know, a hundred minutes? I, I have no perception of time. I just, yeah, I don't wear a watch, do you know what I do have a clock, but I don't wear a watch. Mostly because it's annoying and it gets, it, I get irritated and my skin is very sensitive and I have a cell phone. What do I need a clock for? A watch for. No, I don't need to be so encumbered by time as to be monitoring it on my person at all times. Who wants that? <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the tubes. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.